Welcome back to Sonic Vector 2, Part 7. Whoa. D8 quarters. They level that. Actually, I got stuck on them for like a long time when I was It's a easy kid. to get stuck on this level. And I hate this robot. 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 This, that robot's the exact reason why I was stuck because I was so damn scared of it when I was a kid. It still scares me to this day because if it spots you, a good majority of the time it will instantly hit you, no matter how far you run away. Because it's yeah. uh, laser beams spawn near you. It also just sounds menacing when you like hear it coming, and then whenever you're close to it, you hear the alarm, so you're like, oh fuck, oh fuck, it sees me, and it shoots you. Yeah, it ignores you. That attack. <laughs> Just that it, you know, covers all angles and everything, so you can't really escape it. Um, unless they're probably digging, maybe? I'm not sure. I think it goes through the ground. Oh. But yeah, I was stuck on this level because I was terrified of it when I was a kid. Thus, I never end up beating Sonic Adventure 2 for like, the longest time. Same here. But, actually, you can actually hide from that robot, because you see all the, like, shadows? You can actually hide in those, and the robot won't spot you. Yeah, this is really meant to be like a stealth level and everything, but... That's even why there's these, uh, low ceilings up next to the door, so you can, you know, hide up on top of those. Yeah, I'm also wearing a Christmas outfit for Rouge. And I, I like it, but it's not my favorite, because there's another costume that I like even more. What, the dirty hoe costume? Gosh, dang, para you furry. Are you talking about the um, one in the two-player mode? Oh, there's actually a one like that. The thing. Um, that section where you got hit at. Can you like splice that in and like right now or some crap with the sound blasted all the way up? Why? So they can hear it slowly come in and eh, eh. <laughs> Because, Jesus, that thing. It's horrible. It really is. It's almost like the, uh, the drowning theme from the early Sonic games. Yeah. No, I think that robot's so much freakier than the drowning theme. It was just that you knew that you screwed up. Yeah. Big time. Also... Huh? Oh wait, no, never mind, I get it. Never mind. Halloween costume. I'm a giant for pumpkin me? without a fucking nose. <laughs> and arms. Oh my or god. Really anything. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm an abomination. <laughs> wow, this truly is a Halloween costume. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Vera. What have you done to the game, you hacker? Look what you did to Eggsman. <laughs> Eggman for FNAF 4? Nightmare Eggman? <laughs> oh man. I think you like the mech that it's a fucking pumpkin now. <laughs> this is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Oh yeah, now you say it. Oh, my bad. Ouch. Carson? Carson? I'm still here. Snake! Wait. We already done that playthrough. Well, dang it, are more, more than one games, but there's more still. than one snake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's two. four. Are we even gonna count all this and uh, naked? They're kind of dead. <laughs> I thought we were counting them. <laughs> yeah, but they're dead. What? <laughs> Yeah, that was me abusing the, um, upper trick. Uh, did it- Yeah, I explained it whenever we were playing as Tails, but I'll, I'll, I'll just explain it again. If you Jesus hover the moment that you jump, then you gain a little bit of height. I would've laughed if you would've just fell off the platform there, because you're slivering around. I would be pissed and not surprised, really, because, that, again, that's so easy to do. Yeah. Still sturdier controls than uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. That's not hard to do, really. The game, not the character. Wow. Didn't even do the famous 
last colony escape. I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah, in terms of speedrunning, I really don't know much for Dark Story. Right? I only know off shallow uh, tricks, that's it. Other than that, I just play Eggman. You Eggman's do. leveled normally and rely on luck whenever I'm playing as Rouge. You didn't look at yeah. GDQ for this? Uh, no, I actually haven't. In fact, I think, I think Lost Colony is the only level I did not bother looking up. <laughs> I want a GDQ where uh, people who are very sensitive to sound and deaf people play games and it'll be games done quietly. <laughs> First off, of the FNAF 4 speedrun. <laughs> <God. laughs> the so question, they only play good speed games? Run a game that runs off a timer. Majora's Mask. Oh, there's Big. Hi, Big. Hi, Big. Here. Currently fishing right now in space. For what? Oh, Froggy. Know. Froggy. Yeah. Space Froggy. Spoggy. He's Spoggy. fishing for a good game. Well, He's fishing for his own game. <laughs> Sega's bass fishing. Sega, wait, guys, where are you? But, so, wait, is there really a skip in this level? Oh, fucking no. <laughs> are you okay? At first I thought we were joking, but then I was like, eh, you might be telling the truth because, again, I never bothered looking up how to like, speedrun this I'm level. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's some weird clipping thing where you can beat the game and then beat the level in less than, like, negative four seconds or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a negative time bonus. It takes your score, it takes your score down. Hmm. Speaking of speedrunning, I may buy another copy of Sonic 6. This time a uh, 360 copy so I can, uh... Break the game a little bit. Do you have a 360? My sister does, so... Oh, yeah. Also, I like how the stage at points has Parkinson's disease, seemingly. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the... What do you guys think of David Humphrey? That was a weird animation. Uh, I like David Humphrey. That's uh, Shadow. Lots of characters, still bad voice direction. But then again, this is early 2000s, so standards weren't that high. Personally, I think Banjo Tooie has the best voice direction of all time. I thought it was codenamed Steam. That's why people don't like it. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. To make TV screens larger. We need chaos emeralds for that? Yes. Bullshit. Oh, so that's why we needed the chaos emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven chaos emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction. So, this is our Deus Ex Machina? Okay. The world could be oh, it's pronounced Deus Ex Machina? <laughs> I believe that's Deus Ex Machinima. Machinima, <laughs> So, but those, uh, those Machinima offices. Machinima, Jesus Christ. I heard so many nightmare stories about them. <laughs> Just the way they operate. That's why some of the biggest YouTubers on YouTube are ex Machinima members. Wait, did you, uh, just to go off topic, did you see the uh, first family parable part by C. Nenders? Yes. Those Machinima offices. <laughs> offices. God, that would be great. And they just, like, start having PTSD. <laughs> Would you guys fuck me. Rouge? Treasure Hunter! She's Nathan Drake. She's Locke. Okay, then. It's a deal. Oh. Damn it, he <laughs> found a better comparison. I mean, she literally is Locke. Yeah, she Lockhart. steals crap and calls herself a treasure hunter. Yeah. Close enough. Nathan Drake does the same. How 
I did love Eggman's first line here. He's like, coming back wasn't my idea of a vacation. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, right. Egg Eggman's first level was in Prison Island, so. I like this track. Uh, fuck, I forgot what it was called. Uh, uh, strategy? They bring it back in Shadow the Hedgehog as well. Just showing how lazy they are with their music in that game. Well, that game is the not SA2, SA2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this track is called Strategy. Stop calling me Batgirl. Completely different universe. Yeah. Yeah, this is Marvel. <laughs> oh wait, no, this is Archie. Weapons, baby. Here we so go. So many points. Yes. Woo! Yep. I only got an awesome way to fuck that. Blow stuff up. Blow stuff up. Harry, you were so boring, you don't blow everything up at once. Come on. I'm trying to get the most amount of points out of this. Isn't it thing it's stop at eight or something like that? Uh you stop at twelve for perfect. 12. Oh. I think it's twelve anyways. Uh, actually it's thirteen. Tight. Ugh. This game is so nineties even though it wasn't released in the nineties. Yeah, it was around the turning point. <laughs> Well, before people started realizing that 90s were awful. What are you talking about? 90s are the best. Hashtag 90s kid. You're born in 99! <laughs> <laughs> I saw this, I read this once on your channel. It's like, well, why is the history book for it between uh, oh. 1990 and 1999 missing? Only 90 kids Can't will remember. You remember? Them. <laughs> I love that. I feel proud. It's like, hey, I am 90s kid. I think I was in 98. <laughs> you don't count. <laughs> hey, better than 99. Not much better. <laughs> December of 1999. Oh, man. You're so 90s kid. <laughs> December 31st, 1999. Still counts. At 1159 yeah. p.m. 1159 <laughs> Oh yeah, there's also a trick you can do uh, to pretty much get infinite points in a level. Pretty much you lock onto whatever and then, um, you know one of those pipes that you whistle into to like summon a random animal? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you lock into stuff, you whistle into the pipe and then you you don't fire but the game still registers as, uh, uh it still registers points so you can pretty much just farm for points there. I still day, find right? it weird that you whistle the pipes to get stuff to come out. Yeah, it's just like drug dealers. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Okay, good. <laughs> also, I hate that uh, wall right there. You can just go straight on off. Yeah. Yep. I think that happened to me once. Oh, this what? reminds me. In a... Metal Harbor, it makes me sad that you can't just immediately jump to the rocket because you'll clip right through it. <laughs> um. I keep getting. Uh. Afterburner vibes in a race at this stage. Oh, yeah, it's Sega and there's planes. Yeah. <laughs> well, specifically like, really the Afterburner you. level on, uh. Well, Battleship. Suburban Commandos? Battleship, I believe, what it was uh, called yeah. All-Stars Racing. Racing Transformed. Oh, uh, yeah. That's an amazing level. Yeah, yep. the whole game is great. Mm -hmm. Wait, have you guys ever seen that Hulk Hogan movie, Suburban Commando? Nope. Uh, nope. It's one point this kid's playing Afterburn in an arcade and Hulk Hogan's losing his shit saying they're aliens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It still creeps me out. What, Hulk yep. Hogan? No, the no, arms. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm noodle arms. <laughs> I am the best. No, you're not the best. You need help, Eggman. 
<laughs> okay, everyone ready? Set, cruise. On with the show. Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again. I'm so glad you made it. I didn't tell you guys, but this is actually what plays whenever I walk into a building. <laughs> hey there. Who interrupted my music? James, that track. Am I the only one that actually likes Amy's theme? It's... It's, it's alright with me. Not Weird. for something I'd actually listen to, but just, you know. Like, I mean, as her theme, it's okay, but just the lyrics are what... <laughs> I don't think it's a, a Persian cat. made a comment on that in Sonic DX, uh, Adventure DX, but... I think we just wanted to get that over with. Also, uh, <laughs> Halloween... Tales. Tales. Yeah. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Speaking of that, we need to do a commentary on all of Halloween. Wait, what? <laughs> Cause you're like, this is Haruhi. 